You're watching Eagle News International. Welcome back. An expelled member of the Iglesia Ni Cristo, who is based in California, went to number 36 Tandang Sora and tried to make it appear that his visit was linked to the United Nations. Take a look. Expelled INC member Humphrey Dolino Angeles presented an international media press ID with his photo, but at the same time, the ID also mentioned his organization as Humanitarian Aid and Rescue Project. A check with the internet does not reveal a single write-up or broadcast news that he did. But a check in LinkedIn profile identified a certain Humphrey Angeles from the San Francisco Bay Area as having the occupation of a transducer centering the being holographic consciousness. Uh, the UN uh, group that I am uh, affiliated with, Knights Order of St. John of Jerusalem, Naksimula Hospitaler, they're, they're the first and oldest humanitarian uh, NGO in the U UN history. They were the, uh, the first hospital that provided aid to the people journeying to Jerusalem, regardless of their religion. Angeles gave an evasive answer when asked if he was sent by the United Nations specifically. Hindi po kasi, if you understand the, the, the way it works, ang NG po, opo, hindi po yan, uh, kumbaga, they're considered as part of the United Nations. Kasi nobody really owns the United Nations. Angeles then tried to give the media a lesson about the United Nations and what it's all about. It's a group of different countries and different representatives, whether they're government, or non-government entity. It's a, a place where they facilitate and, and talk about issues that affect global uh, communities worldwide. When again asked if he has UN approval for his actions at number 36 Tandang Sora. No, 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 no. No, it, it doesn't. It's, uh, approval from the UN is not a requisite. So I'm a press. You know, I have to gather information to present it to the people. Kasi wala po nangyari. How long has this been? How long has this been going on, po, according to your knowledge? When told the case is already with the Philippine courts, which is already hearing the case, he insisted on the alleged oppression of those inside Number 36 Tandang Sora Avenue, who, like him, were expelled INC members. No, no, I don't care about court, po, because uh, that's not my responsibility, po. That's not my issue. My, my issue is human rights. If we're talking about basic food and water, tapos yung hindi sila makakita ng ano, na you're you're creating this gigantic wall for what purpose? If, if you mean to say that if somebody blocked you in your own house, if it's your house, and they created this gigantic wall, if you really believe that's your house, and they created this gigantic wall, and they controlled, somebody's controlling somebody going inside and out, out of your house, if you believe that it's your house, how would you feel? And you, you, were, you have um, sentimental values, your father may have told you, hey, you know, stay there, whatever. I don't know. So you have to understand, Iglesia Ni Cristo is a prominent global entity. It's highly respected. Angeles also said he came with Lisa Clapier, who was a broadcast transmedia producer from an NGO called World Peace One. He said he'll bring up the issue of number 36 Tandang Sora with the UN and that he has a powerful contact. We, our contact po expands all the way through mga royal families po all over the world. We can, we have access po all the way to, ano, over 183 countries and probably even more. Billions of people po ang network namin. Whose network? Network po. Pwede namin, uh, the people that are watching our news po, yung mga uh, events na we, we cover are literally all over the world. Angeles even claimed that the news that they would do can even be presented to NGOs all over the world within 48 hours. We have the means to record it already globally. But he said they would still have to fight tooth and nail to get that window of time for them to be noticed by the UN. And then the clincher. He admitted he was an expelled INC member. I was a member, Bo. Boy, I can't get back. <laughs> I can't get back yet. Angeles also participated in the rally of expelled INC members in the U.S. where he was interviewed by ABS-CBN's TFC channel. Angeles was expelled from the INC in 2010. Now, previous to this, another expelled INC member, Anthony Menorca, tried to enter the INC compound. 
familia, tú buscamos familia. Familia, ahí va, parto. Andale, andale, relaja, la parte como una. Purportedly to bring food to those staying there while being covered by a news crew from ABS-CBN. Anthony's brother, expelled INC member Luel Menorca II, was also reported in the media to be the overall coordinator for a previous media scenario for Loti Jimenez, specifically the events of January 15 when she conducted a selective press conference. His role there as a coordinator was revealed in documents that also detailed the participation of members of the Marines who were part of Jimenez's security escorts. The lawyer of Jimenez and Menorca, attorney Trixie Angeles, was also the lawyer of former Marines Captain Nicanor Faldon, whose security firm had been hired by Lotti and Angel.